everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game unboxing sponsored by The Game Crafter. Whoosh. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the game Siege Castle of Kings, which you can find on Game Crafter in the link in the description for this four-part series. We'll be doing the unboxing, the setup, a playthrough of the game, and then finally our review of it. And at any point throughout these videos, you can go ahead and check out the game down below in the link in the description. Let's go ahead and open the game, which I have already un uh, unsealed from the cellophane wrap. So here's S Castle of Kings or Siege Castle of Kings, which comes with a rule book, which fully explains the game. And it's fairly simple to understand. We've already went through it and made sure we understood how to play the game. Then we're going to get two decks of cards. This one is for the white army, which is us. And then this one here is the black army, the bad guys army of deck of cards. In the black army, these cards here are going to say Eastern Gate, Northern Gate, Trader Cards, Western, Southern Gates, which are all in reference to boards that are going to be moving around, uh, attempting to siege our castle. And then the white army deck is simply going to have numbers in them which are going to facilitate us in successfully accomplishing certain goals from each of the different player boards. There's going to be a bag full of different tokens here. We'll go ahead and take these guys all out. As you see here, there are player markers, which are these colored ones here. There are die, which we'll use depending on the search situation. Two black markers, which are going to be placed on certain areas of the board. And then these little bridge markers here, which are in reference to difficulty and other things as well. Then let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. There's a different no, array of boards. We're gonna have this one here. This is the throne room board, which is gonna show your morale tracker as well as reinforcements. Then you're gonna have this southern drawbridge here, which is gonna show you the gate that goes open and close, which I imagine is gonna have this marker on it going back and forth. This eastern gate, which has cards numbered, which we'll be placing, we'll be placing these guys down on them. The Western Aqueduct, which obviously, as you can see, will allow us to go back and forth on this track here. An Eastern Wall as well. And finally, the Nor Northern Gate, which is where we'll be fighting the Black Army with our own cards. And this is pretty much what you get inside the game. Everything you need in order to play and all the components for the game Siege Castle of Kings. When you want to put it up, it is fairly simple. You'll just take all your boards here and you will go ahead and put them in here first. Take all your tokens and die and place them in the bag. Seal it up and separate the decks on each side, placing the rule book in last. And you're good to go. Already set up. The back of the box looks like this. It shows you what comes in it, as well as the basic idea of how the game plays. How many players? Which is two to six players, ages 12 and up. And the game takes about 30 to 60 minutes by Arctech Media. If you're interested in taking a look at the game, go ahead and link description below. Otherwise, continue watching our next video, which will already be out, or will be out next week if you're watching it this week, and see how the game is set up. It is a cooperative game. And then after that, we will do a full cooperative playthrough, and finally, we'll tell you what we think about the game Siege Castle of Kings on the Game Crafter currently right now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.